Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Coming back, uh, my student, um, pricing. Uh, how to set a price in your project? How to set a price? Uh, we should understand first what's price and how many strategies to set a price for existing product and also for a new product. What's price? And what are the major pricing strategies? Price, it's amount of money we charge it for uh, benefits. For uh, It's amount of money we charge it for a product or a service. It's a uh, sum of all the value that the customer gave up in order to gain the benefits of having or using a product or a service. All other marketing mix elements produces cost for a company but price the only element in the marketing mix that produces revenue or other elements produce represents cost what's price we said that price it's amount of money we charge it for satisfaction for a benefits or price what is the major pricing strategy to set a price for existing product, we have three pricing strategy. A, a value-based pricing strategy or a customer value-based pricing strategy and cost-based pricing strategy and the final competition-based pricing strategy for existing product. For a new product, it's another issue. It's uh, uh, skimming and penetration pricing strategy. Now we will start with a customer value based pricing strategy. Uh, how uh, we, we, we use our customer perception. Understanding how much value can customers Based on the benefits they receive or perceive from a product and setting a price that capture that value. Okay, this is a figure that gathering the oil pricing strategy. Product cost is the price for no profit proves this price. And a range, a competitive range, uh, it's the uh, nature of a market and demand, the competitive strategies and the prices. And finally, a customer perception of value, it's a price ceiling, no demand above this price. So, you can set a price based on cost, regardless uh, your market price and how our customer perceived our product value and also we can set a price based on uh, uh, competitive prices and the finally we can ask our customer to evaluate our products in order to give us uh, the impression of how or how uh, they perceive our product value this is a major three factors that influencing the pricing process and also three pricing strategies and also another internal and external consideration. Value-based pricing strategy uses a buyer's perception of value, not the seller cost, as the key or to pricing. Price is is uh, considered before the marketing programs is set. This is a symbolic comparison between to set a price based on cost and to set a price based on value. To set a price based on cost, you should first design a good product. I mean by good product, a product that satisfying our customer need want. Determine product costs, set a price based on cost and convince your buyers on a product's value. And to set a price based on a value, you should start with 
assessment or assess customer need and value perception, how our customer perceived our product value, set the target price to match customer perceived value, and then determine cost that can be incurred and the final design product to deliver desired value at a target price. In a cost-based pricing strategy, we starting with the product. And in a, in a value-based pricing strategy, we start for, from our customer, using our customer perception. A second strategy, it's a cost-based pricing strategy to set a price based on cost of producing, distributing, and selling the product plus a fair rate of return for effort and risk. In a cost-based pricing strategy, we add a standard markup to the cost of the product. We should we should add standard markup, not a different markup, to the cost of our product. So, if you are going to apply a cost-based pricing strategy, your company must watch its costs carefully. We should, we should, we should monitoring or controlling our product cost calculating a fixed cost and variable cost and then adding on a uh, adding on a total cost a fair markup a fair markup to set a price based on uh, for sure we adding a profit margin uh, we're adding a, a profit margin on our product cost. Um, they, they see uh, a cost-based pricing strategy um, as a, a fair, a fair a pr a pricing strategy, a fair way, way to, uh, to set a price. But uh, we see that uh, um, that strategy ignores a uh, demand and also ignore uh, uh, competitive prices or market price. The last uh, pricing strategy, it's a competition-based pricing strategy. Setting price based on a competitor's uh, strategies, costs, prices, and the market offering. And consumers, our consumer will base their judgments of our, of our products, uh, our products value on the prices that uh, competitors charge for similar products. That, that said, to set a price uh, for existing products. And to set a price, for a new product, we have a two pricing strategy, a market skimming pricing strategy, and also a market penetration pricing strategy. Market skimming pricing strategy is a strategy with the high initial prices to skim revenue layers from the market. This is a, this is a pricing strategy for innovation, for a new product, no competition, no competitors here. So we can set a price to, uh, with initial, high initial price to skim the market. Um, and we should know that uh, your product quality and image must support your price. And the buyers must want the product at that price. I mean that the a market segment uh, can evaluate uh, and the, and also can perceive your product quality and want your your product at that uh, price level costs of producing the product in a small volume shouldn't cancel the advantage of a higher prices and the finding competitors 
shouldn't be able to enter the market easy. It's a pricing for a new product based on or applying a skimming uh, pricing strategy. As we said, uh, um, it's, a, it's a very good strategy for new products in a quality market. Our customer considering uh, our product value and know how to evaluate our product value. In another type of market, it's a, a, a pricing markets, market penetration pricing strategy. It's the opposite of a skimming pricing strategy. It set a price with the new initial price in order to penetrate the market quickly and DB. Here we mean quickly mean a high market share and DB means a high or a speed cost reduction to attract a large number of buyers quickly to get a market share. Price sensitive market, we applied in a price sensitive market, inverses relation of production and distribution cost to sales volume and the low prices must keep competition out of the market. I mean, when we set a very low prices, we keep our competitors out of the market because of economic scale and the learning curve, no competitors can enter the market easy. Thank you, my students, and see you next chapter in China.